Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Nuzlocke. In today's episode, I completely forgot I had a repel up. We are going to head on over to Seldon City. I believe it's... Uh, actually, I don't remember which city I'm going to. I'm going to a city, anyways, to go and, uh, kick the head out. Mm. Kick Team Rocket out of a tower, anyways. Huh. Hope it's not one of those episodes where I stumble over all my words. And, yeah. As you guys seen a little bit in the team display I brought up there. Mainly because... I didn't know what I was going to say, so I just brought it up. I'm putting Eternal in front of the team, mainly because I kind of decided to skip a grinding montage. Like, I know it's probably really important to train up my Pokemon, especially since uh, we're going to go take on Team Rocket and all that. But, um, well, I... Don't really have time to be doing that at the moment. So that's kind of why I have Eternal in front. Just because this episode is going to be getting through Team Rocket's lair. And uh, basically hoping to one shot a whole bunch of enemies. I also have uh, 22 Hyper Potions. So, you know. Even though I might be slightly under level, I should be able to kick the head, uh, kick Team Rocket's, uh, butt anyways. Or I can make it an episode and go fight the dojo. Hmm. I mean, we do get a free static encounter as well. Uh, yeah. Let's go fight the dojo. I completely forgot about the dojo, so, like, heck yeah. I'm gonna fight this guy! Why did you come up? I mean, I'm sorry, but I wanted to go and talk to the other guy, not you, okay? Ah, so, anyways, uh, the reason why I'm letting, uh, telling you guys that I don't have time to be doing a grinding montage... My goodness, level 31? Uh, at least for challenging him at a fair level. Yeah, but the reason why um, I don't really have time to do a grinding montage is because I was playing the new, um, well, I was playing a new released game anyways. I do want to let you guys know what game I was playing. I probably already let you know in a past episode. But anyways, yeah. The reason why I don't want to let you guys know is because that game inspired me to try and do a top 5 video. So, uh, look forward to that anyways. I'm pretty much working on a top 5 video. Um, not as I speak, mainly because, you know, right now I'm recording a video. But, uh, yeah, in basic... Sorry, I'm trying to focus on the gameplay to make sure Pokemon don't think, because... We all know how my luck has been going. Yeah, so... I'm trying a new uh, top 5 video for the first time. That's what I've been working on. And, uh... I decided I'd record this video, have it up. That way it gives me some time. Now, granted, I ain't gonna be like, Oh yeah, it's gonna take like a month to finish. No, like, I've actually been working on the video, um, since yesterday, basically. And, um, I've been basically just finding clips in each of the videos to, uh, you know, basically talk about it. So, yeah, I guess basically... The question of the day, then, since I'm letting you guys know about my top 5 list, is... Do you guys want to see that list right away? Or are you guys willing to wait for me to, uh, make recordings and try and edit it, you know? Make it fancy-like. 
You know, I think that'd be a good question of the day. Oh, geez, that is good. Well, I mean, we did land the toxic, so that should be good. We're just lucky it wasn't a critical hit, though. Ugh. Yeah. And Kingdom has to learn a water type move eventually. Like, I go into fighting dojo thinking it's going to be fighting dojo. This guy whips out a ground type out of nowhere. Oh jeez. Imagine if this game had like a hard mode on it where like everyone's level was increased by 25% or something like that. Eee. I don't think I'd be able to stand a chance unless I do like running on top in every episode. But yeah, so... Basically, um... We're going to... Find the tower anyways. Take that, Graveler. Flinch City. Yeah, we're going to find that tower anyways to uh, save it from Team Rocket. And at the same time... We're going to handle the dojo. That's basically how the episode is going to go. So, I mean, I'll be lucky if, uh... This episode, we don't lose any Pokemon. Like we did in the last episodes. But yeah, if we have to go up against the Graveler. We gotta be careful. Like, I would think about going Dig, because Dig would be super effective. The only problem with that strategy, though, is I believe we take more damage if, uh... What is it now? We take more damage if we're actually using the move Dig, because we're kind of underground, so, you know, the Earth is, like, squishing us, basically. <laughs> And, uh, I believe the same goes with, like, Sky Uppercut, or... I don't know, just one or two moves, anyway, that works with Fly as well. Where using Dig, um, there's a disadvantage you get for... You know... For actually digging. There's the same manner of back, too, with, uh... Fine. But I forgot what the moves were. I think one might be Sky Uppercut. I'm not sure though. And then there's one more move that also affects uh, flying types. I'm not sure what that move is though. Oh jeez, I was hoping it didn't know. But at least we'll be able to do a uh, strategy of using Toxic. Digging on the ground and upcutting the opponent. So it should out to be, right? Okay, good. Sure. The scary thing would be if there's a speed tie. Because if there's a speed tie, we're in trouble. So yeah, pretty much until we get the TM Earthquake from Giovanni. Um, we're basically stuck with this move then until we reach like level 55. At level 55 we learn Mega Horn. I, I had to let you guys know this in the past episode I believe. Oh man, I was hoping I can like go down and heal. I mean, technically I am. Okay, that's a fighting type. You know, I just realized, Nell hasn't evolved yet. Like, Nell's at level 33, and it hasn't reached its third evolution yet. Like, maybe level 34 is when it evolves, finally. You know? Ooh. That did a hefty amount of damage. And like, Kingdom won't be super effective. But not 
the gas cleaner. Ooh, it knows toxic and it knows dog pole. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Yeah. Oh, by the way, an Indum Stanger. My thought process of that was, uh, Strange Danger. Mix it both together to make it Stanger. That was actually my thought process. I'm happy this Ghastly knows Toxic, though, and then, like, replace another move with it. Because it also does know Will-O-Wisp as well. So I guess it replaced Will-O-Wisp with Toxic. Which actually means this Ghastly is a lot smarter than, uh, you know, people expect. I think Dark Pole has a high critical hit ratio. Oh no, it has a high flinch ratio. An easy way to check is just to check the info. Ooh. Okay, nice. I don't know what's up with me, but like, um, about two thirds of Pokemon I get. I always focus on the flinch strategy with them. Like, I don't know if it's just cause, you know... Flinching, yay. But, that's kinda what I like to focus on with Pokemon. I guess that means technically, uh... I don't know if it's... Togepi's third evolution. I don't know if it's called Toga Kiss or something like that. But anyway, do they third evolution from the Togepi? I'm like butchering the name so badly. Anyways, yeah, third evolution of that you can learn an ability to you know make opponent flinch easier, and uh, using moves to help it flinch means that maybe that Pokemon would be, like, you know, one of my top favorite Pokemon to troll people with? I know it's basically on, like, top lists of trolling, because, you know, it's like the ultimate trolling mon. And, yeah, we can challenge the Dojo Master. Ugh. I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Hoya! Okay, can I challenge you with my Pokemon? Cause I don't think I can actually knock you out, knock you out. Ooh, Polly Ray. I think Polly World here was trouble. This is Polly Wrath. I'm thinking Toxic Switch. Yeah, that'd be a smart idea, because it's pretty far. Do not know Water-type move. Yes! Okay. So, I know it's going to use a Water-type move. At least that's what my brain's saying. So I'm going to switch out to Kingdom. I would go out to Nell, but because Nell's still a normal type, fighting type moves are, you know, neutral. And, uh, it using Bubble Beam just makes the attack not very effective, so, uh, you know. Using the old Noggin. I'm gonna try and send it to Flinch City and, uh, basically let Toxic do the work. You know, this is a deadly strategy, so imagine if instead of Koga focusing on just poison types and using Toxic, if uh, Koga actually focused on using flinching moves and Toxic, and about two-thirds of his Pokemon were speedy types. 
Oh man, I could like a lot of people would be so salty. Like especially since Coco would be like the fifth gym leader. It'd be like the Whitney situation all over again, but with Koga. So like all Koga needs to do is maybe if lucky find a few poison type Pokemon that can cause people to flinch, or at least give them headbutt. And then use Toxic as well. And uh, if you go in low level or just with slow Pokemon, you can like send you to Flinch City while using Toxic to slowly defeat you. Oh boy. That'd be scary. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take out Emblem as your trophy. In return, I'll give you a prized fighting type Pokemon. Choose whichever one you'd like. Yeah, so basically what this is, well, what he was talking about is, uh, I don't know if like dojos in Japan still has it going or not, but I know in, well, I, I don't know if it's in medieval times or just anime lore in general, but, uh, if you ended up losing a dojo match, you know, like trying to honor your dojo, the winning per person can literally take your dojo emblem as their reward. Basically, um, getting rid of or dismantling your dojo. So basically, a dojo master has to fight with all his will to make sure that he's not defeated in his dojo. Otherwise, the challenger can go ahead and, like, take their emblem as their prize? And, uh, pretty much prove that the Dojo Master is not as good as he says he is. Which is like, um, which is basically, basically like defeating a Dojo Master's honor, is if he decides to take an emblem, you know? So yeah, I think this would be a perfect uh, spot to end the episode. We gone ahead and beat the dojo. So, yeah, before I do my outro, I'll let you guys have the opinion. Should I go with Hitmonlee? Or should I go with Hitmonchan? So basically, Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan. And yeah, without further ado guys, remember to tackle that subscribe button. Splash around the likes, and don't forget, it's okay to flail sometimes.